Everyone has certain experiences in their lives that shape them into the people they are today. Whether it's getting a promotion at work or falling out with your best friend. These experiences are crucial because without them, we could be completely different people. I'm sure that everyone here has had an experience like this at some point in their lives so far. So I'm going to ask you to think back. Think back to the most memorable point in your life so far. The thing that's going to stick with you forever. Think about how you felt in that moment. And think about all the little things that happened leading up to that moment. <coughs> if you could go back and change anything that happened back then, would you? And if so, why? How do you think that it would affect your current life? After having made that change, do you think that your life would be better or worse than it is right now? Like I said, I'm sure that everyone here has had an experience like this before. I have, and that's what I'm here to share with you today. When I was younger, I never really fit in with other girls. I mean, I had female friends, but I always felt more comfortable when I was around boys. The girls never seemed to want to do anything that I found particularly fun, whereas the boys always did. I spent practically the, the whole of my reception or preschool years hanging out with the boys. And then when I was five years old, my parents and I moved from Germany to England, and with me came my seemingly boyish mannerisms. I've always had trouble adapting to change, so I found it difficult to start at a new school full of new people in a completely different country. But I quickly made friends the majority of whom were boys. I was in the same school, same class, with the same people for six years of my life, and everything was great for the first few years. I had made some cool friends, and I had finally settled down. I was ten years old when everything really changed. This was when the boys and girls slowly started to separate from each other. It became clear that the boys didn't want me around as much anymore. They still let me join in their games at break times, but they weren't being as open with me as they were before. I was completely lost. I didn't even know where to sit at lunch because the boys always sat with the boys, and the girls always sat with the girls. I didn't feel like a boy because of the way I looked, and I didn't feel like a girl because of the way I acted. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I was. Now naturally, my parents get, began to worry. It actually got to the point where my mother had contacted a doctor who specializes in gender reassignment and she suggested giving me puberty blockers. I was 10 years old. Earlier on, I asked you to think back to an experience that you've had in the past. I asked you if you would change anything about that experience if you were given the chance to. If you had asked 10-year-old me if I had been willing to take the puberty blockers and transition from female to male, I would have leapt at the opportunity because I wanted nothing more than to really be one of the guys. But looking back at that now, I'm so glad that I didn't because I am not a boy, I am a girl. It took me a while to figure that out. But I'm okay now. I did, and I'm okay now. I finally fit in with both the boys and the girls, and I'm okay now. <laughs> If anyone you know is going through the same thing I did, or if you are going through the same thing I did, here's my advice. Wait. Wait until you're 100% sure that, this, that the decisions you're making are right for you. And if they are, go for it. Do what makes you happy. Regardless of your age, race, gender, or sexuality, you will find yourself eventually. And when you do, own it. Be proud of who you are, and don't let anyone or anything make you feel any different. You will... I promise things will get better for you. Take it from me. Thank you.